Super fast tutorial today. I've been doing this effect for over a year now and I haven't really seen anyone do it, but it's super simple. It's this all in After Effects because I don't want to do it in Photoshop and put in Tony Vegas, so it's only in After Effects and you're going to need Red Giant Ecto, like everyone's favorite effect. So here's how to do it. It's pretty simple. Subscribe on the YouTube, follow the IG. So if you have your clips in Premiere Pro, uh, we're going to be using this one right here. That's perfectly fine. I just right click my clip I'm going to be using, replace with After Effects Composition. It'll pull up After Effects. And now I work with a lot of 60 frames per second videos. So the composition will be 60 FPS. So if we go to Composition, Composition Settings, you see right here, frame rate 60. Now, if whenever I do a scribble or an animation or anything, I definitely change this to 24 because that's what I'm going to render the final output in. And I don't want to be animating 60 frames every one second. I can definitely would rather do 24 frames every one second because it's half the work that I, I would be doing. Whenever you do do that and your composition was originally 60 FPS, it will cut off your clip and then have all this excess in your composition. I just drag this all the way out and it'll be fine. Okay, so let's do this. So it's like any other scribble animation tutorial. What, how I like to do it is I like to select my clip, press Control D. It'll duplicate the clip. Now, I just go up here to this toolbar and click Brush Tool. And then I go to this window and double click on it. And then now I should be able to paint. Now, let's say this brush is too big, which it is. I'm going to press Control Z to get rid of that. I'm going to go right here to the side and then just bring this down just a little bit like this. Now, I'm not going to be using my mouse. I have this a drawing pad I like to use. And then when doing that, I have to mess with some of the settings right here, which is fine. If I go, it should be angle off, which these are fine looking at it right now. Yep. Okay. And a lot of people will tell you when you're doing scribble animation, this duration right here under the paint tab, if you can't find it, go to window and then paint, but under the paint tab, your duration needs to be single frame. Now that's, that just means that every time I write on it, so let's say I draw a star, the next frame I go to, so if I press control and then right arrow key, which like that, the star is gonna be gone. So if I, I would have to do this 24 times in order for the star to be animated. Now, sometimes I do do that, but most of the time, you can get away with two frames at a time and no one will notice. So animating at 12 frames per second while your video is 24 frames, it just speeds up your workload super fast. So go back to your paint settings and on duration, just change that to custom. And then right here on the side where it says F, it would be one, just change that to two. Now you can also do it with like four frames and stuff, but then you're getting a little bit too laggy and staggery. And I wouldn't recommend it. I would just recommend keeping it at two but now you have to do half the work. So now I'm going two frames at a time. So one frame, two frame, and then the star is disappearing. So I just have to draw already half of the animation I did because I changed it from 60 FPS to 24. And then now I changed it from drawing 24 stars to only drawing 12 for every second. So I'm just drawing random animations um, you get the gist. So now if we go back to the composition and we look at it, we'll have stars and you can tell from when I did it from every frame to 12 frames per second, you can see how it went fast in the beginning and then slow at the end. And I think this, everyone kind of does their animations pretty fast right now. So if you do it slow, you know, it's just better on you. All right, but that's not the tutorial you're looking for. You're looking for the burning effect on your animations. So once you have your animations drawn, okay, so I'm back. I just did some random animations, nothing too special, but now we need to do the effect. So make sure your top layer is selected, the layer you just drew on, go to the effect controls, and then you'll have paint here. Click on paint on transparent. Now we're almost done, we just can go to effects and presets and add everyone's favorite effect, Ecto from Red Giant Universe, Red Giant Universe plugins, add Ecto onto your paint, and then now you have a burning, whoa, a burning squirrel. 
Now that uh, I sh I'm gonna show you how I change my white, as in let's say I painted in white. I just look up fill. Do it again. Look up F I L O. Just drag fill onto the top, and then make sure this is above the ecto. And then say I want it red. Put the ecto on, and then now I have a red and blue. Well, like this. And then this is pretty much up to your discretion on how how creative you can be with your animations. So you, I showed you some examples of mine earlier, which is you know whatever you do. But thanks for watching, Infestatorial. Thanks.